I'm Sarah, this is Milo. We are ready to film our basket bunny tutorial in the midst of winter in yes. preparation for spring. Yes. We've had snow days, we've had some sort of President's Day. Um, kids have been around a lot. And yes. um, what else? And the shop is open, so you may hear a phone ring or some people come in, but we're going to try and bust it out anyway. We're going to persevere for the bunnies. I have something to say. What? Bunnies, 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 bunnies. <laughs> I like them. I've got your enthusiasm. Yes. It's going gonna, it's gonna to lift me up. Yes. You are the wind beneath, your beneath my bunny ears. <laughs> uh, this is a great beginner project. We do an armature. It's a pretty simple little armature with 22 gauge wire. And... Um, Milo! Hell, <laughs> that, what? This is not your time, pal. And my time. Uncool, Milo. And we, um, I'm a little distracted. Uh, and anyway, good first project, pretty simple shapes, and we are going to move the camera in to come over the shoulder so you can see exactly what I'm doing and get started. We're going to use our what are you doing? Well, I, I don't you think he likes the look of me. You can't, you can sit, you can get down. Get down. Um, get down. Go yeah, on. get down. There you go. Okay, so we're going to use our Bunny Puff Supply Pack, um, which has everything you need to make two bunnies. We included um, fiber for a seal point rabbit, which we make white with um, graded gray points. And a sort of, I'm calling it caramel. Whoopsie. I'm calling it caramel. He's, um, he's made with our copper core and his blue eyes, which is fun. I love that with the brown. And then you can do a white chest and tummy, white spots, whatever you want. And he has dark brown tips. So you ready to get started? Yes. Car caramel's tasty. Caramel is tasty. Really a caramel, a caramel bunny? I'll put these over here. That's a little too much, isn't it? Uh, yeah. All right, let's get to it. So for the sake of the tutorial, I'm going to make the white bunny because it just shows up really nicely um, for you to see. And I will try to remember to say what corresponding colors you will be using for the caramel bunny as I make it. In addition to the supply pack, you need a felting surface. This is our... Um, Stab it Wabbit, which is a um, all natural rice filled burlap bag, and your felting needles. And I'm trying to make it a habit to keep them in my holder, which um, Marsha, one of our employees, makes. They're beautiful. And um, just to keep it clear of my, I usually stick them in the corner of my Stab it, but I'm trying to change my habit. I'm also going to use a toothpick and um, which I have here in my holder. Uh, Round's toothpick is nice if you can find one of those. If you don't have a toothpick, a little piece of wire or anything small and smooth um, that you might have around your home works well. And then I will be using the Zuli tool a lot. You can totally make this um, without it. It just makes it easier. So I'll show you um, both ways. And again, if you have a pencil or the handle of a wooden spoon, you can, you can use that as long as it's smooth and somewhat the same size, um, you'll be good. So in the supply pack, I'll show you how this is packaged. You have two bundles of core, white and copper. And then you also should have two bundles of, um, detail colors. So here's your whiskers, which I'm going to set aside. And then pink and black and blue for eyes. This is for both rabbits. So you're going to split those in half to make sure you, there, there's plenty here. I don't think you would use more than you need, but you could just go ahead and split them in half. And so you know you have um, the blue, I'm not going to worry about, so that you know you have some to go with each, um, each rabbit. The top coats for the brown 
rabbit has some chestnut, natural black. I also included some white so that you could do a white belly or spots. I'm going to set that aside because we're not making that one today. And then the top coat for the white rabbit has a lot of white and three different grays to make the to make the seal point. We have light gray, medium gray, and um, this is actually our color called seal point. So that's what we'll be using. And then you have four wires, two for each rabbit. So you want to get two of those out. And then you have two bundles of core, off-white and copper. So we'll set the copper aside for the brown bunny. We'll be using the off-white. The first thing that we need to do is make our armature. I have a tutorial specifically on actually making this armature. It's called, um, I think it's called How to Build Small Armatures. Um, so that's a handy one to watch previously. But we're going to take one wire and find the center by bringing the two ends together and working our way back up. And then we're going to gently twist this wire three inches of it together. See how loosely I'm twisting it? I'm not like cranking it really tight. So no more than three inches. So I'm going to use my tool here. And that's exactly three. On some of my bunnies, I've made little teeth. And who has teeth? He has little teeth. And you can do that by wrapping the end of the wire in white. Uh, we're not going to do it, but what you would do is you would fold this down and wrap the end of this in white and then just proceed with the rest of the instructions the same way. So fold your head into kind of a candy cane shape. Not super extreme, but give it a nice little dome because that's going to help to make the dome shape of their, of their heads. Your second wire you're going to find the center again. Give it a little pinch and then open it back up into a mountain or triangle. Sorry about the camera. And then put that point right on the base of the of the head and neck here. And then you should have, if you hold it that way, a short wire and a long wire on each side. And you're going to twist. Now these you can do a little tighter because you're going to create a shoulder. So you're going to go around two times. That was one time, and that's two times. And now the wires are married together here to create the shoulder. So I'll do this side. I really make sure I put equal pressure on both wires. That was one, because this is back around to me, and that's two. So now he has shoulders. And these short wires will be his front legs and these long wires will become his back and back legs. Um, we're going to use every bit of this wire so make sure that it's still even. Mine's a little bit off. I can fudge it a little bit by just shifting one shoulder back more to even it up. Let the two wires come together just where they will. Leave that little triangle and gently twist until you have three and a half inches between where the front leg comes out at the bottom of the shoulder and where the twist ends. So that's one, two, three, and I can do probably one more twist to get a half. And then this is his back. Then the hind legs get a bend to make the, the shape of their um, thigh and their foot. So from the back, I take my thumb and just press forward to make that little curve. And then you want to bend a foot at one and a half inches, which is right there. So it looks like that. Looks like that. 
And then the front legs, we want to trim the wire at three inches. So you can use you can use snips for this thin wire or wire cutters. But three inches from where the twist begin ends or the bottom of the shoulder. So that's right there. Sometimes I measure and then I just put a little turn in the wire so I know where that spot is. And then I just cut the other one evenly. If you have a really hard time getting wire, getting the wool to stay on the ends of the feet, um, before we fold the wires around, because you don't want pointy ends, we sort of give them a little bend around to create the little feet, you can put some wool on this. It's I don't always do it because you actually have to wrap the full length of the leg um, with a really thin piece, which is equally as tricky for some people as trying to get the wire on the ends of the feet. But I'll do one and show you show you how it's done. I'm going to use a medium gray, and I'm just going to take a really thin strip. I'll show you both ways. I start at the shoulder, and I just wrap a really thin bit tightly around the leg. And then I just end it. And I really, like, really twist it around to try to get it to stick a little too much. So the idea behind this is that now, when I bend my little foot back, when I bend the wire back to create the little foot, it already has some wool on it. So as I add my other colors, it's going to be easier to keep wool on the end of the foot. So you could do that to all four legs. I'll show you how it looks without that step. Without that step, I bend the wire around to make my little foot, and I will wrap the whole leg from there. And then I want to bend the little hind legs back also. Use my just fold the toe around. I try not to use up too much wire because I don't want his back legs to get too short. So I just fold the toe around and give it a little pinch. And that's your, that's your bunny armature. So now we're ready to start wrapping the legs. All right, I'm ready whenever. I'm so glad we're getting this done. We are on. Okay. I have a joke. Okay. Let's hear it. What do you call the everyday routines of rabbits? Habits? Yes, rabbit habits. <laughs> I thought about it when you talked about your needle and your habits. My habits. That, that's it. Okay. We all try to develop good rabbit habits. Um, we're going to wrap the legs and I'm going to start with your kit's either going to have light gray or oatmeal um, but it's the lightest of the three of the three grays and we want skinny skinny amounts so from this whole piece of roving this one's pretty chunky I'm going to pull a strip that's about a quarter of an inch wide the whole length of the roving and then um, actually since I already wrapped this front leg in the gray in the medium gray let me do the other one the other front leg in the medium gray so I want to take about a three inch piece that's from here to here like that and then pull a little thin strip again about a about a quarter of an inch and then wrap down the leg and I'll show you how I do the base of the toe without the wool already on it. This is a tricky thing um, in any animal and takes a little bit of practice. But I'm, I'm angling as I wrap down to have the wool move down the leg. 
And then when I get to the end, I'm going to continue that angle. Make sure my wool is real thin. I draft it out a little bit. But then here, I'm going to turn around and angle the other way, like that. And that forces the wool to stay onto the end of the foot. Now I have a lot of extra, so I'm going to pull off what I can and just take this thin bit and with my finger just keep going around until it's all gone like just roll 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 until every little last bit of fuzz is eaten up and now it looks like the other one and I have a finish needle here because um, because I'm working right near the wire I want to this is my 40 twist and I'm just gonna stab it until I know it's really really secure if you were making the caramel, what color would you wrap oh, the legs? Oh, thank you. If I were making the caramel bunny, I would use the, I would wrap, be wrapping the legs probably in the teddy bear brown, which is the medium, the medium color in the three browns. We've got chestnut, teddy bear brown, and natural black. Okay, I'm going to use, even though I used the dark gray on the front legs, I'm going to use this lighter gray on the hind legs. Um, I used the dark gray starting out because I wanted to show this technique, but we will use the oatmeal or light gray that's in your kit. So this is about um, an eight or nine inch piece, and I want to pull a nice half inch piece off of it, and I'm going to split that in half, one for each leg. So by using this medium color, or this, I'm sorry, this light color, then when I go to blend the seal point colors, I'll already have this not white base. So I can do, put my white towards the top and my darks towards the bottom, and we're in good shape. Just wrapping down the foot, down the leg, keeping it tight and thin. When I get to the foot, I'm gonna do that angle back. And on the hind foot, on the front foot, I really try to avoid any bulk because I don't want a big fat foot. But on the hind foot, um, they do have kind of chunky hind feet. So it's okay if it's a little bit, a little bit thicker. Do the other one. As I wrap, my one hand moves down the wire and reinforces what I just did. It helps keep the wire from wiggling around and it helps keep your wrapping tight. So what's a rabbit's favorite musical? I don't know. Didn't know they appreciated the, <laughs> they, the theater arts. They do. <laughs> it is hair. Uh, oh, yes. <gasps> yes. You know, I don't know if I've ever seen that. And then every once in a while you have to revisit your armature and make sure it's in the right shape. All right, we're going to get some wool on the body. And for this, we're going to use our off-white core lots of it. Uh, let's pull, this is some chunky stuff, it's like thicker than my wrist. So let's pull about a two, four, six inch piece and divide it into quarters lengthwise. So now we have four nice six inch pieces and we're going to work our way through those. First thing we're going to do is wrap the head. I start at the base of the neck and I just go up the head. I'm not doing teeth on this one. If you were doing teeth, you would stop about there because you would have this wrapped in white. But I'm going to just go to the end there and then go back. Keeping it smooth. 
Okay. And then I'm going to take another six inch piece and I'm going to do the chest. So I'm going to start right behind the front legs and go around once. Actually, go around one full time. Okay. Now, I want to crisscross some wool in the chest here. So I'm going to come over a shoulder as I came over the back. Instead of going around here, I want to come over the shoulder and I'm going to go across under the opposite armpit. Now I need to go over the back and to make it symmetrical I need to go from this armpit over this shoulder. And now he has an even cross on his chest. At no time did I wrap around a leg. I went across the chest. And then the rest of it um, you just finish off on the body. And then the next piece, I'm going to start right behind the front legs and come forward. Get this part of the body fattened up. I don't needle felt a lot as long as it's sticking because I've got it tight and I know I'm going to keep going over it. Um, if you're having a hard time getting it tight and you feel like you need to stab it, go for it. Okay. So what we want is for him to get a little fatter as he goes back. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to get some core wool onto the tops of the legs to bring the legs together with the body and then we'll fatten him up. Let's take our last six inch piece though and finish wrapping the head. I'm going to use a crisscrossing figure eight technique that I use a lot. Um, in this um, hook shape to create a crescent. I want to fill this area with wool to make a half circle. So to do that, I'm going to go around the neck just to get it going. And then I concentrate on going around the back of the head. I come through the middle. Now you can either twist it like this or you can just go like that. And then so right over the, the bridge of the nose and then back around the back of the head. I'm going to draft my wool out. It's getting a little chunky. Then I'm going to do that again. And this time I'm going to go right up around the middle to smooth it all out. And so by not wrapping here and by going from there to there, you put most of the wool right in that half circle. And that's just real, that's real handy um, for a lot of different parts on animals. This I got to stab because it's, oopsie, let's go stick it in my stab it. Okay. So we need some core wool for the tops of the legs. So this time I'm going to pull more of a four inch piece two, four, like that. And again, I'm going to split it into quarters. Just gives you a nice size to work with. And two of them I'm going to draft out a little bit. Make it longer and smoother and thinner. Um, this is before drafting and that's after. And we're going to wrap the back legs. So we have this little forward soft bend. This is his thigh. Bunnies have big thighs for jumping. Jumping away from Milo. So I'm going to start at the top and this is another spot where I can use that crisscross technique in this um, half circle. So instead of just wrapping, wrapping, wrapping down, I'm going to skip this spot and I'm going to go right down to here. And see how that lays the wool right in the center. And then if I go back up to the top, it puts even more right into that center. Don't go all the way to the back of the foot. Leave yourself, um, leave yourself, you know, three quarters of an inch or so. And now I'm just going to go, now I'm going to go around the center to smooth it out. 
and then I want to stab this. I like to try to encourage this flat, not real log-like. I try to, I like to stab from the inside out. It gives me a good purchase on the shape. So the trick is making this one look like that one, because I do it from a different direction. I do this one from this direction, and I do this one from this direction. It's tricky. So I get it anchored around the top, and then I'm going to go right down to here. I got this one a little heavy down towards the foot, so I'm just going to pull it up with my fingers. Okay. On the front legs, we can actually take one of, we have two remaining four inch pieces. Um, take one and split it in half again, but basically you want a nice thin four inch piece. I'm not drafting it out too much. And then I start on the shoulder. I'm going to wrap down maybe two or three times and then angle back up and return the wool around one more time to the shoulder. And that just starts to fatten up the top of the leg. Not too fat, but starts to get some meat on there. Gotta talk about the rabbit meat, eh? <laughs> so on the, <laughs> on the brown rabbit, this would be your, this whole, all these steps would be with your copper, copper core. I think we are nearing probably the end of episode one. All right. That's good. That's a good start. We've got a little more wrapping to do, but... Skinny bunny. <laughs>